Welcome to Supreme Family Garden. And today, guys, we're gonna talk about watermelon. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna reveal all the secrets to growing some watermelon. This is actually, I'm gonna show you guys. Carolina Cross, Crimson Sweet. There's another variety of um, sugar babies that we got growing, um, and it's a yellow one, uh, like an orange flesh watermelon. Can't think of the name of it right now jubilee uh charleston gray some of the more bigger varieties of watermelon all right and um some of you say well supreme why are you growing different varieties because what happens here put my old man glasses on so i can see is what happens sugar babies crimson sweet those guys are normally 65 to 80 give or take days uh before they're ready Carolina Cross, Charleston Gray, uh, Jubilee, um, the more bigger watermelon. Those guys, 90 to 100 days. Even though your package is going to say 75 to 85, normally guys, it's going to be about 100 and some change. Okay. The reason I'm out here today, I just got out of work, but I watch a few of my brothers. I think it was Black, Tropical Homestead, and my main brother, Broke Farmer. And guys, they talked about watermelon for an hour and a half. I couldn't chime in because I'm at work, but we all listened to it. So I couldn't wait to come home today to show you, especially those fools, because we're having a grow off this year. Anybody who want to get in this, I don't know what we're going to do for the prize, but I'm sure I'll talk with them and we're going to come up with something, something nice this year. You know, it's going to be like the first new millennium where everybody, all race, creed, color, grow the best watermelon. Now, we don't want no old bugs to come over in here and lying about you bought the watermelon from the market and not out your yard so we want to see you cut it right baby cut it from the stem in your yard now don't try and take my money and you didn't grow it in your own yard now don't be no scoundrel but anyway without further ado come on out here in the patch now honey stay close now i don't want one of them big old rouse snakes to bite you especially tonight and i get fried chicken don't step on none of my, my watermelon that's coming up now, honey. Okay? Trying not to. You try real hard. Should have had your old woman glasses on too now. All right, guys, look here. Days are coming. Can I say it again? Days are coming. You like how I said that, baby? Mm -hmm. Days are coming. I see here. Now with these oh, weeds, look at those in there, babe. Yes, baby. I'm on. I'm on oh, look at that big one. Yes, baby. baby. Oh, oh camera still mm. for the people to see. Oh, you get silk. so excited because you don't come back here and do no work. And guys, whenever you get weeds that are growing in there, because they, it's we're gonna use common sense, okay? It's obvious that these weeds like the same soil that the watermelon plants, okay? But the watermelons are doing good. They're not yellowish. Now, if they are yellow and you have a lot of weeds, it's a problem. But everybody's healthy. But we're gonna take this grass. And we'll throw it right down there because this where this one's in the ground, see? Throw it there, that's going to give a little extra nitrogen. It's going to condition your soil for next year. Also, I shouldn't be talking about this. I'm giving away too many tips. But God's going to let me win and beat Broke Farm and Black Tropical Homestead anyway. See, now we're taking some watermelon pieces here. So if you guys are eating watermelon and you're growing them, give it right back to the soil okay see right here right here they're both growing so we're going to go about six inches away and let it break down it's going to continue to feed all right now if you look here here's another watermelon this is a smaller variety i think this is like a sugar baby okay so as the bigger ones grow he's going to fill right in this is going to give a little bit of shade because by the time he starts running he'll probably be ready to eat or soon thereafter all right, all right, come on, baby. Ooh. See here again, we're just gonna take these. It's just gonna condition the soil and you find a good place to put it. Here's a <coughs> one's issue the baby. Yeah, so we gotta get something to lie on these like some cardboard. All right, guys, make sure you lay something underneath your melons. I hadn't gotten out here. 
why I needed you to help me pull the leaves, remember? Now over here, be a sugar baby. I hope I can hold the camera still while I'm looking for snakes. Well, I'm, they'll bite me first, honey. <laughs> See here, guys? So when you go to work, so here again, guys, there's another weed down here. I didn't have enough money to buy any black plastic or any of that stuff, so I got to do mine by hand. I don't have that kind of money, so I have to work with what I got. Here's another one. She's coming along nice. It's going to be a big one there. Oh, yeah, here's a nice size. I just stepped on this one. Oh, is that a cantaloupe? Where, honey? For a honeydew? Where, baby? Right there. No, like that would be called a, a squash. A squash? Uh-huh. Let me show them that. Oh, that's now, a nice big Yeah, one. it's nice. An acorn squash. Okay, guys, now I'm going to show you something. This is a great tip for God, for those beginner gardeners. If you're not sure of what your soil is going to be, this is miracle Grow Organics in-ground soil that I'm actually growing this in. My love, you're going to have to, let me actually move this back. You can see, I'm going to bring up some of the dirt so they can actually see. See here? This isn't this, but it's both loamy, okay? Because you don't want thick. Actually, I'm going to show you guys on a few do's and don'ts of growing your watermelon. Mosquitoes are out. Yeah, the family. Cool. See now over here. These are cantaloupe or honeydew, one of the two. But they're not doing as good because look, that's one area I felt. And it's it's more it's not as loose as I want it to be. It's more thick. So if your soil is like that, just dig a nice mound. See here? What I did, I did add a little miracle grow to this area. I mixed it in. It's kind of expensive, so I had to work with what I got. Alright. All right. Also, I got a couple emails about because I never really look at them. It's been a while about growing watermelon in mulch. I have not had high success of growing watermelons in mulch, but like a 80, 20, 80 soil, 20 mulch, just on the top about a half inch or just to retain moisture. Cause again, here we're not getting a lot of rain at all. So it's, it, we're struggling, I mean, bad. So I wouldn't recommend it unless they start to run Add a little mulch around it just to retain moisture. Other than that, nah, just go with your soil. Oh, that's a big um onion. It sure is, baby. Is it growing? Baby, the video isn't pertaining to onions. Oh, come on now. I just saw. Oh, well, is this lettuce? That, that's what it's called, baby. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm just. In case I want to come back here and, and oh, you mean send me back here? Yeah. Oh, look at the look at your cat. Uh -huh. Now again, guys, I'm gonna show you something, and, and you guys know I'm not sponsored by anything. I just tell you how it ti is the truth. I wanted to grow some pollinators, so I got some um, some things. We talking about baby the um. Sunflower seeds. So I got some, right? 
Now I'm gonna show you guys how good this miracle Grow in ground dirt works with growing anything. Look at this, sunflower seed, okay? Well, sunflower plant, my apologies. All right, now look, this is what, about two feet, baby, you think? Yeah. You reckon? Now over here, oh, wait a minute. I forgot to show you the dirt. Some people may think I'm telling a tale. See there? She flipped over, but that's just regular dirt. Okay? Make it up a little bit. There you go, baby. There you go, so they can see good. All right, now come on over here. Dun, 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 dun. Now look at that. Look at that. Baby, that's big time, man. Mm hmm. We go to a baseball game with our own homemade sunflower scenes. I'm gonna set up a booth. Well, Supreme, can we see the dirt that's around that to make sure you're not telling us an old lie like those other scoundrels on YouTube? Sure can. I'll bring it up to you. See that? Damn, I done pulled up a plant to go along with it. But yeah, that's all miracle grow, in ground organics. And look at how healthy. Look at that. That's about what? How long tall you think that? About four, almost five foot there, ain't it, baby? Four and a half. Yeah, about four. Look something. at the difference, guys. Proof is in the pudding. Also, those of you who want to grow your sugar babies, um, I wouldn't recommend Charleston Grays or Jubilees, Congos, those things in a pot because they're invasive like crazy. But right here. Oh, careful, man. I might can't it's, move the yeah, pot now. There's one hanging right it on sure the side. It sure is. Now, look at it. Now, guys, this is Miracle Grow in, uh, actually potting mix. No fertilizer, nothing. Just straight potting mix. Miracle Grow Organics. It's got to be in the black bag. Black and gold. Not the green stuff. Black and gold. Let's say it again. Black and gold bag. Fill it up. Half inch of mulch on the top. Put your seeds about an, we're gonna just say an inch. Make sure they, they root out good. Water it in. World of a difference, folks. Broke farmer, when I'm giving out all my tips of how to grow these, close your ears, because I don't want you to learn. I don't want nobody to beat me. But by the time you figure it all out, the competition be over, I win anyway. <laughs> That's a big one over here, babe. That's a different one because that's a... Watermelon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, what guys. What time is that one? I'm not sure, baby. Can't see that far. It's an old prescription in the glass. Don't say that. Well, it's the truth. It's not. That's a prescription from a year ago. That's not old. This glass is about three, four years old. I got a clip holding the back up. See that? That's a nice yep. big one. It sure is. See how the soil... This is miracle Grow. See how that crumble up? I ran out of money, so I put it in certain spots so I could see and show you guys the truth of growing some stuff. See there? And just need a little bit of water. <clears throat> and I see here again. I know it's a watermelon video, guys, but I'm going to show you while we're back here. No miracle growing this. Just dirt. See that? It's three and a half foot. Watermelon that's grown with miracle grow. 90% of them are already giving off fruit. Look at that big one. Mm hmm Gonna eat some watermelon this year. Oh yeah, we big time. From the year, backyard. Baby. Oh, there's another variety yeah see i got a water see guys how dry it is and again here's my miracle grow I was running out of money so i had to figure me a few things out Ooh, that grass is deep right here sure is, hi baby. we got squash out is of that here. a big squash i'm looking at all the way over there you see it from there baby yeah that's something special isn't it? yeah hold the camera still baby i am i had to itch the mosquito bit me all over here now in this area I knew I planted a lot of Charleston Grays Congo um, and Carolina Cross 
because they, they spread out a lot more. And those are gonna be like 100 days before they're ready. But I did use my in-ground miracle Growth stuff with that. Um, whew. I guess we'll, we'll show them that when we really do some tra how to transplant watermelon, um, things like that's gonna be in the next video. Baby, you step on that plant, it's gonna be some smoke. But I have to walk backwards because you keep on walking into me. You gotta so know I how to you the would, camera. I figured you would stop when you see me you keep going backwards. Know where I'm, where I'm going. Are these lettuce ready, babe? How do you know when they're ready? When I put them in that. Oh. Ha uh, ha. Another tip. That's a nice one there too, baby. Oh yeah. Now some bigger ones over there, but the bugs are biting us. But I'm gonna show you guys one. There's another big one right there too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tip one number twenty-seven. Uh huh. Tip number twenty-seven. What is tip, it? Yeah. Tip number number twenty-seven. All right. Again, guys, if Miracle Grow, you good folks are watching this. I love your products, and I would love to be a sponsor and a spokesperson because boy, that's some good stuff. And again, it is real, y'all. If you don't believe me, you live in a rural area, take a bag, leave it outside, guarantee your armadillo's gonna go through it like no tomorrow for worm castings. See here? Look at how healthy. Look at that. See what's around it now, look. See, see, see? See, this doesn't look like this. Old Supreme digs his little spot about a foot, give or take. And then I put the expensive stuff. Even though my, my stuff is good now. A little biochar, I'm, I'm, I'm on it now. But I'm gonna show you guys something how to really save money with growing your watermelons. Go to your local market, find some bad bananas. You okay, honey? Something is in my foot. Hold on. <laughs> all right, this is gonna help you guys save some money, all right? Oh, again, these are some honeydew, and notice how black the dirt is. That's a big one there. And try not to plant your honeydews and watermelon and cantaloupe all together because honeydew melons give off that powdery mess and it can mess it up. I'm gonna pray to God that he, that don't happen to me this year. But anyway, honey, you can show them this and I'm gonna go and grab this. Don't step on my watermelon now. I'm not. You mean my watermelon. You're just a farmer. Ooh, look at this one. Now I have to make sure I come back here when they start to ripen before Supreme eat them all. Ooh, look at this big one, babe. Yes, baby. You yes, didn't, here, you didn't even see it. I see it, babe. This is the biggest one so far. You know, it's some bigger than that on the, oh, other, on the side. other side. Oh, on the other side? I can't show them everything just today, baby. You gotta oh. wait, do part two. All right, guys, see this? Once your watermelon that, plants, Hold it up so we can see. I'm going to show it to him. Let me do some talking. Yeah. Once you see, you lose my deliberated thinking. Once your plants start to run, actually, you can use this in the beginning. This and some Epsom salt. Okay? This is banana. What is bananas used for, guys? It's going to be potassium. You know, you got your nitrogen, potassium. Say it with me, Clay. Lower your high blood pressure, too. Oh, baby, the crown's going to filter it I'm all out now. So, what you do is just take your bananas, go in the store. Well, no, they ain't 50 cent a pound no more for bananas, right? No. How much does that cost now? I don't know. It's not that expensive, though. Okay, buy you some rotten bananas. They might give them to you cheap. Get you a bucket and let them sit there. Black bucket. Put you a little bit of Epsom salt. Take them out the plastic, though. That's right. Take them out the plastic. And then you take about three tablespoons Epsom salt, mix it on in there, and then you give them a good drinking. For you in small areas, because when you got all this here, you can't get to be too expensive. You don't need to do all of that. Okay? See right here? Perfect example. See my little mounds? All miracle grow. See how healthy? Now, I got them growing somewhere else, but I'm not going to show you all that today. But it's as simple as that. Prime example, right? See how healthy these are? Look at where it's coming from. This is in ground. This here is just regular mulch, okay? This is what I meant by, it. see how the mulch is still breaking down and it's absorbing everything this little fella needs, see? You don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. But everything else is nice and healthy. It's mighty pretty on the baby. Yep. Yeah. 
peel and everything. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering that it's a little shady over here because some months it's gonna be 92, 93 degrees. These plants can't take direct sun, 92, 93, 94 degrees. So I just give them a little shade to where I can kind of keep my, <coughs> my season going a little bit longer because this, these plants have more sense than most people because they know where to go to get what they need. So as long as your plant is established, we're gonna say here, a small overhang, it's gonna go towards the sun anyway. So you, what you really wanna do is just keep your base nice and healthy anyway, for the most part. All right. Um, baby, you think I covered everything for the most part? Yeah. What you say, Jim, you think, you think the, the class learned a little something today? Yes. You think I did all right? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Remember, 2023 watermelon grow off leave a comment down below if you want to get in it let's come up with something that the winner which would be me is going to get <laughs> um yeah make it something big this year because broke i, I don't think y'all gonna beat me this year man you know talk to bulls god and everybody man let's let's try and see what we can do have some fun anyway may god continue to bless each and every one of you every day is a blessed day if you like the video Give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. Share it with your folks, your friends, your family members, anybody who wants to grow some watermelon because now they're like $10 to $20 for a watermelon. So if mine come through, it's going to help me buy some school clothes for my kids this year. But anyway, may God bless y'all. Enjoy.